China's 30 million US dollar Aussie carrier surprise. Imagine an old ship, global skepticism, and a couple of unexpected treasures that catapulted China's naval dreams into the stratosphere. Let's rewind the clock to the 1980s, when the Australian aircraft carrier Melbourne, once a symbol of naval aspirations, found itself at crossroads. Sold by the UK to Australia for a mere £10 in 1949, it transformed from the British ugly duckling to the Australian white swan. However, after over 30 years of service, it earned the ominous title of the Scourge Ship due to a series of unfortunate incidents, prompting Australia to part ways with it in 1982. Enter China, with a daring move that stunned the world. Despite global skepticism and ridicule, China offered a surprising $30 million for the Melbourne, leaving everyone scratching their heads. Little did the world know that China saw beyond the surface and had plans that would redefine its naval capabilities. As the Melbourne gets docked in China in 1985, it brings more than just a decommissioned aircraft carrier. Yes, in the meticulous process of dismantling at the Huangpu shipyard in Guangzhou, China stumbled upon two treasures, the steam catapult and the aircraft carrier arresting cable. Yeah, the double delight. But wait, these weren't just components. These were the keys that would unlock China's future in aircraft carrier development. All right, folks, just get ready as we peep into the nitty-gritty of the first treasure, the steam catapult. You see, this little gem wasn't a part of the original package when the UK handed over the Noble to Australia. It's like finding a hidden compartment in your old car that turns out to be a rocket launcher. OK, maybe not a rocket launcher, but you get my drift. So what's the big deal with this steam catapult? Well, imagine you're on an aircraft carrier, and you've got these hefty planes strapped in ready for takeoff. Now, a regular carrier without a steam catapult would be like trying to launch a rocket from a slingshot. Not very efficient, right? But this steam catapult changes the game entirely. It's like the aircraft carrier's personal catapult, giving those heavy planes the oomph they need for takeoff, no matter the weather. Rain, shine, or a combination of both, this catapult says, no problem, we've got this. Now, here's the kicker. This crucial piece of tech wasn't just a nice to have, it was a game changer. It propelled China's naval ambitions to new heights. I mean, come on. Who would have thought that a decades-old steam catapult would become the unsung hero in China's quest for naval dominance? And just think about it, heavy planes taking off smoothly, regardless of the weather, that's some next-level naval prowess right there. The steam catapult became China's secret weapon, turning doubters into believers and skeptics into applause. Talk about turning an old relic into a futuristic marvel, right? Moving on, it's now time to uncover the mystery of the second treasure, the aircraft carrier arresting cable. Now, if the steam catapult was the superhero takeoff, this cable is the unsung hero of landings. It's the equivalent of catching a fastball with a single hand. No pressure, right? Picture this, you've got these high-flying jets returning from the skies and they need a spot to touch down on the aircraft carrier's deck. But here's the catch. The deck isn't exactly a spacious landing strip. It's more like trying to parallel park an F-16 fighter jet on a busy city street. Now that's a challenge. So, enter the aircraft carrier arresting cable, or as I like to call it, the superhero lasso of naval aviation. This isn't your regular cable, folks. It's the lifeline for carrier-based aircraft. Without it, you're looking at a potential catastrophe as those jets try to land without a safety net. Imagine you're landing on a carrier, you're coming in hot and suddenly your plane hits the deck and this cable, with all the strength of a superhero, catches you. It's like a game of extreme catch, where missing the ball means your multi-million dollar jet becomes a fancy lawn ornament on your carrier's deck. Yikes. This cable ensures a safe and smooth landing for those high-speed, high-stakes landings. It's the difference between a pilot making a triumphant return and a plane deciding to go for an unexpected dip in the ocean. You do not want your multi-million dollar aircraft doing a nosedive into the sea, do you? And here's where it gets juicy. China didn't just stumble upon any old cable. No, sir. 
They hit the jackpot by securing the key element that would later become the backbone of their naval development. It's like finding a golden ticket in a sea of ordinary ones. This arresting cable became the unsung hero, the linchpin that held China's naval aspirations together. Just imagine the sigh of relief from those pilots they snag onto the cable, bringing their high-speed drama to a controlled and safe stop. It's like a cinematic moment where the hero lands safely, the music swells, and the audience collectively exhales. And then, armed with these unforeseen treasures, China initiated a strategic leap forward in naval development. The steam catapult and arresting cable became pivotal in the construction of the Liaoning, China's first domestically developed aircraft carrier, officially entering service in September of 2012. Behind this technological leap was the vision and determination of individuals like General Liu, who dreamt of China having its own aircraft carrier. Although he didn't witness the Liaoning's launch, his dedication laid the groundwork for China's naval success, and today his dream lives on as China continues to build on his legacy. You see, China's journey wasn't limited to Melbourne alone. The purchase of three more aircraft carriers from the former Soviet Union, Kiev, Minsk, and Varyag, added a significant depth to China's naval expertise. Through meticulous study and exploration, Chinese military industry experts identified valuable lessons from these carriers, further solidifying China's place in the era of aircraft carrying. Melbourne's unexpected contribution to the Liaoning was nothing short of a technological marvel. The extensive modification program launched by China showcased its ability to adapt, upgrade, and innovate. From power systems to weapon systems, Melbourne's legacy lived on, shortening China's path to naval prominence by nearly half a century. With the Liaoning setting sail, China's naval capabilities expanded rapidly. The lessons learned from the Melbourne and other acquired carriers laid the groundwork for subsequent advancements. China continued to bolster its naval arsenal, marking a significant shift in global naval dynamics. And finally, the global response to China's $30 million surprise shifted from skepticism to admiration. Initially ridiculed for purchasing what seemed like a relic, China turned the tables by unveiling its technological prowess. The ones laughed at Melbourne became a symbol of China's ability to turn challenges into triumphs. Well, there you have it, folks. The incredible saga of China's $30 million Aussie carrier surprise, turning a relic into a naval marvel. What's your take on this unexpected twist in naval history? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button if you're as amazed as we are. Subscribe for more mind-bending tales from the unexplored corners of history. Until next time, keep exploring with futuristic tech and AI.